Drones are changing the way we study volcanoes. We're a team of volcanologists and engineers from the Deep Carbon Observatory. Our research has brought us here to the island of Manam, one of the most active volcanoes in Papua New Guinea, and one of the most challenging to measure from the ground. So instead, we're taking to the skies. Our team is using fixed-wing drones to fly high into the volcanic cloud. These drones carry tiny sensors and cameras to collect scientific data and to report back to us on the ground. We're studying the volcanic gases being released by Manam. The chemistry of these gases can help us to understand what is happening deep beneath the volcano. From satellites, we know that Manam is one of the largest sources of sulphur dioxide on Earth. But to measure carbon, we need to get our instruments much closer to the vent. Volcanoes are one of the most important natural sources of carbon dioxide to our atmosphere. The Deep Carbon Observatory seeks to understand how carbon is moved and recycled through the deep earth beneath our feet. And as our 10 years of research draws to an end, we are looking to the future, to new technology that will propel deep carbon science into the next decade. From the data collected by our drones, we, as volcanologists, are beginning to fill in the last remaining gaps in our knowledge of how much carbon is being released by volcanoes around the world, and why. Drones also have enormous potential for monitoring volcanic hazard, as we know from other volcanoes that changes in the chemistry of the gases can precede large eruptions. And this is why we are working closely with the Rabaul Volcanological Observatory to help them use drones to monitor the many active volcanoes in Papua New Guinea. This expedition is only the beginning. We will be returning to Manam next year as part of a much larger project, developing new techniques to explore the deep earth carbon cycle from the sky. <laughs>